to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under with a Combat Arms commentary. I haven't seen one of these for quite a long time since I haven't been playing the game too much. But today I'm going to be talking about Arms Race, the reason why I came back to Combat Arms and had a bit of a play in it. And I have to say, it was a good decision of mine because Arms Race is a really, really good mode. When it first came out, I didn't play it too much, but now I'm, I've realised that Arms Race, Arms Race is such a balanced and fair and entertaining mode that it makes CA playable in quotation marks for me. Now, my main gripe with Combat Arms is lag, and of course one mode isn't going to go and solve that, so we're going to go and chuck that out of the window, but my biggest Big, the second biggest one I have to say about combat arms is fairness. In fact, people running around with OP weapons and stuff, it's just not that good for the game. It's unfair, and unless you have NX, you're going to be at a very, very big disadvantage. Now, Arms Race goes and solves that to an extent. Now, in terms of gear, obviously, people are still going to be going and running around with their 25% speed gear like I have in this video and the specs and whatnot. However, the guns they're using is dictated by the game for the most part. Now, obviously, you can go and get those passes and on one rotation, you might get your epic OP, super good weapon and kill like two or three people with it. But other than that, that's the really, the only chance you'll get the usual good weapons. The rest of the time you're gonna be using the guns dictated by the game. And such, everybody is generally on a plane, a very, very fair plane field. I'm being just going through this game. As you see right now, I use my m 1 CQBR for one rotation, and now I'm onto the Chris, which is a weapon that's in the actual game mode. So, everybody else has got to go and use this weapon, like I have gone and done. So, there's no disadvantage, and that's what's really entertaining. Because if I die to somebody in this game, for 90% of the time, I know, okay, they've, they're better at me in this certain firefight. They outgunned me, whatnot, they outpositioned me, whatever. That's unlike the majority of every other game mode in combat arms it's like oh my god it's lag oh my god they naded me oh, oh my god they're a noob oh my god they've got duels or something along those lines but in this mode it's more like okay it is it's fair and i absolutely love that and in conjunction with this new map this new map crystal tower it's really chaotic and a lot of fun to play and it was just a really good game i had now obviously the issues are still there, as I said before, like lag. If you're an Australian, this game is very, very difficult to play. Look how many bullets I put into that guy, even though I missed a lot. Come on, that was literally a whole magazine. That one as well. Like, a lot of the bullets just don't go and reg, and that's just something I've got to deal with, but even though it's still a really fun mode, like, come on, I should have killed that guy. I really should have. It red hit my hit market so times, but whatever. This game mode is really fun, and if you guys are just a complete fire team player, an elimination player, or whatnot, go over to Arms Race and have a bit of a play in it. It does take quite a long time if you've got a 45 kill match, but overall, it's a really, really interesting modification of one man army. And one of my most favourite modes in the game. Second favourite mode for me is Fire Team, playing a bit of Desert Thunder, just queuing up with some people that you you might you may know, you might not know. You can meet some new friends on Fire Team. I always like to go and talk to people because it's just a lot of just a bit a bit of a grind, but still trying to get through it as fast as you can. It's a good thing to go and do. And thirdly, is always clan war and stuff like that. But Arms Race, going back on the topic, a good mode. If you guys haven't played it, go and check it out. This game went for like 12 minutes, so I'm not going to go show you the end of it. Basically, I lost by one kill, so that was a bit depressing in the end. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under. Out.